This is a short video to show you how to set up a Turnitin assignment on Moodle. So you go into your Moodle page where you want to set up the assignment and make sure editing is on. So I'm just going to scroll right down the bottom here and I'm going to go into this area here and I'm going to set up the Turnitin assignment. So I want to add an activity for the students and you can see all the activities are listed here but we want to scroll down and we want to use this Turnitin assignment. So we click on add and I'm just going to call it a test turn it in assignment and you can put your instructions in here so this assignment requires you to generate a word file upload and so on and now we go through these options I would all always require a file upload like a word file I think it'll do PowerPoint as well it'll do text files you know, if you're looking at maybe um, computer code. Um, number of parts, I would leave it at one, unless you have multiple parts, but it starts to get a bit complicated then. And the course upload limit, the max here is five, but your course upload can be set to be higher. Um, this one here, the student originality reports, it's either yes or no. So what that means is, can the students see their Turnitin report? And I would leave this at no for now until you look at them, because there may be some issues and then I would change it to yes. So you can do that at any time. And then some advanced options, allow late submissions. Usually I do allow late submissions and then apply a late penalty. Otherwise you find students start emailing you their submissions and then um, you have to manually upload them, which is something that you, know, you don't really want to do. You want them to upload it directly to Moodle and then into Turnitin. Now this one here, again, I would leave at the default this means is they get one chance to turn it in. If you want to give them a separate chance, then you could set up a separate turn it in assignments. This one here basically means they can keep uploading until they um, fix all the issues. And the repository, if you don't want to do, uh, uh, the student submission to appear in the repository, in the turn it in repository, then you'll click no repository. So this might be for a test submission. However, it is probably a good idea to use the standard repository or the institute repo repository. What that means is that if you if the student's submission is stored in here, then as as a, as IT Sligo submissions are stored in the repository, if students are copying from one course to another, or if students next year are copying assignments from last year's class. Uh, then you will see, or sorry, n next year's class, then um, the, the year ahead, then you'll see that the um, Turnitin will pick that up. If you use no repository, then it won't. So usually you leave that as standard. And I leave all these at default. Just basically you wanted to check everything. The grade, let's say this assignment is worth 20%. Uh, don't worry about the grade category. Uh, common module settings. Uh, I'm going to hide it for now, and then these are all to do with the uh, grade book. And then restrict access again. I don't usually touch that. So you click save and display, and then turn it in, and Moodle will start talking. So we'll come back with this information, and. Um, you can see here that the start dates and the due dates and the post dates aren't set yet. And there is a little icon over here, this little pencil icon, which you need to click on edit. And you can see here that the default it sets to is a week away. So let's say, for example, we're going to start today. I normally start assignments at 9 a.m. just for consistency. Um, and the due date, and it defaults to a week later, uh, but let's say I want to give them two weeks for this assignment. So I'll do the 17th of March. And it would normally close off all assignments around midnight, or you can close it at 6 p.m. And then the post date is when the students can see their your feedback and their originality report. So normally um, I would give yourself a few extra days so you can mark them. And uh, let's say again, they can start seeing them at nine o'clock so I can see your comments and so on 
So once you uh, do that, you can click uh, Submit. And then Moodle and Turnitin start talking to each other and synchronizing the data. So once Moodle comes back, then you can see the dates are set up correctly. I'm happy with that. If you need to do any other changes, you can go back into update this Turnitin assignment. Um, and I'll just go through these, the submit paper. This is where you can submit a paper on behalf of a student. So all your students are automatically enrolled in this module, which is which is good. So once you set up the assignment, the Turnitin assignment, they're automatically enrolled in your class. So you could sit, submit a file on behalf of a student. Really, you should be getting them to do it, but just be aware that um, if you do that, then the student will get an email informing them that their assignment has been uploaded to turn it in. So you just um, upload the um, file, put in the name, choose the file. It will have to be on your PC and then add the submission. The submission inbox, now nobody's submitted to this assignment yet, so you'll see the actual, as the students start coming in or uploading their assignments, you'll see them listed here. And then the options here, I don't normally change any of those. You could increase the feedback characters to 1500 if you wanted to click Save Changes. So now you're done, your assignment's set up. Um, I do want to make this visible, so I'll just go back out to um, see Turnitin Assignment. There's my Turnitin Assignment. And I'll go back out to the main module page. I'll go right down to that assignment and I can just go uh, show. So that assignment now is ready to go in Moodle. So that's how to set up a Turnitin assignment on Moodle.